you look around the world, there's a conflict somewhere, always. The conflict, a uh, natural disaster, or something happening. When our military wants to engage an enemy, when they want to support a friendly nation, they need to understand where populations are and how their activities can impact them. Studying people is hard. You know, people don't follow rules. They do things that don't make sense. People are incredibly dynamic. We are always moving. We're moving from building to building. We're moving between those buildings on roads and in cars. From cultural events and activities to ways that we move on the landscape. So if you think about, um, if we look at like religion, for example, there are certain uh, you know, religions that may have services on Sundays. Others may have events on Fridays or Saturdays. And so that actually shifts how people move within a week. So life before <laughs> LandScan um, was simply, census would say, there's so many people in this county, and you just say, okay, we'll just distribute them across the county. We had different data sources that, you know, were maybe somewhat complete, and we would always say, man, if we just knew where all the buildings were. Very important for us to understand the built environment because that will inform our characterization and distribution of the population. We replaced our models with machine learning models. These machine learning models helped us to improve in several aspects. They include lowering the running time, accuracy, and explainability. So the rapid updates uh, portion of the program is all about creating these near real-time population estimates that reflect how populations respond to uh, occurring phenomena, whether that be some type of political-based conflict or natural uh, disturbance events. Now we're getting to where our, our data's coming together. We've got lots of different data stacks and we can ask much more interesting questions uh, and model those things at, at different scales. I think one of the most important things about the future of LandScan is our ability to represent population at specific points in time to include the future. We want to forecast our population data sets based on what we did historically. I think it will allow us to be, again, increasingly agile, being able to pull in new data sets, new capabilities, and be able to more quickly respond to the needs of what's going on in the world. And for us to be able to come in and say, okay, we are going to develop the tools and the capabilities to help, you know, if it's reconstruction, if it's humanitarian aid, and those are the things, it makes you feel like you're contributing towards something bigger than yourself. It takes a, it takes a village to make land scan, but, um, but thankfully here at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, we've got the multidisciplinary team that we need to be able to create this critical product for the U.S. government. It helps people who truly need the help. That's the reason why I want to work on LandScan Global.